Hey guys, so today I'm going to be uh, making my first attempt at taking off the mowing deck and putting on the snow scoop on the front of the Husqvarna TS-354XD. So we'll go through and make a video as we do this. Wish me luck. Hey guys, so we moved the uh, Husqvarna mower into the warmer shop here got the fire going and we're going to take the deck off so again i haven't done this before on this mower the first step is to lower the deck all the way down make sure your foot's not under it and then i'm told the next step is to undo that front there's a bolt here and then these clips here and here on each side. And then the other side has a sway bar. So I'll try to get some more light on this and we'll get to it. Okay guys, so got ourselves a work light. Got to get under there and undo that front clip, which I think has a 19 millimeter bolt on it. Just getting some heat in here. Getting started with a Saturday cigar. We'll get down in there and try to get that bolt off. Okay guys, we're under here under the front of the machine. The mowing deck is not as clean as I'd like it to be, but the way the weather worked out this year, I didn't get to hose it off. So we'll uh, take it off, clean it up the best we can, grease it, let it sit for the uh, winter. So this is the bolt we have to take off to get this front clip whatever it is arm we need to get that off first so i do believe 19 does work i'll get this off and we'll start the camera back up okay guys so we almost have this front bolt off it didn't want to come off as easy as i thought we got this one and then we got these ones, I was using a 19 millimeter, likely should get something for this bolt or this nut. Pull that off first. I did use a little WD-40 because it was didn't want to come off nicely. So we take this off, obviously keep it in the washer. So these are the parts that come off. Again, I used a 19 mil. That's good for this size. For the front one, do something a little bit smaller and probably take that off out of the way first. You're not trying to move two of the nuts at the same time. So this is free to move back and off now once I get the clips removed from each side. So I'll set up the light and we'll look. Okay hey guys, we're underneath the uh, left side here. I'm gonna take off this clip and this clip. So in no particular order, some people I've seen said they like to do the back ones first. There's one, don't lose that. Pull that, oops, sorry about the camera boys girls that's a little stuck in there might have to try it a little bit and this one there find it easier without the needle nose you take that arm use two hands to get that one off okay so the clips are off this side i do have to detach that arm but it's tough with one hand the other hand's holding the camera i'll uh wiggle that free and then get to the other side and do both clips there and then the task is to slide it out from the right side i'm told so we'll do that okay guys we're on the right side we have to do this clip to release that arm this clip 
releases the anti sway bar that we'll see after and then the front clip up there so i'm gonna do those and then we'll uh get everything clear we have to pull the belt down off the pulley at the front and uh, then we can slide it out okay all the clips are off the last thing is to pull that belt off of that pulley uh, spring loaded so i'm going to turn off the camera and i will uh, use both hands to get that belt off but basically i'm going to get some slack pull that belt down towards the deck so i can slide the deck out okay the belt is off the pulley just slide the deck back move that down put forward a bit now the deck is supposed to slide out to the right hand side so i'll just reposition and we'll slide that deck out Okay, we're ready to slide the deck out here. Get my cigar out of the way. It's not light, but you can just maneuver it to get out. Turn the wheel. I think I'll be better off doing this with both hands. But as you can see, just manhandling it, sliding it out to the right. Okay, the deck is out. So we just had to finagle with the front wheel and flipping this up at the right time to clear the axle and the uh, pedal arm there. But it's out, so now I'm gonna flip it over Put some new blades on it and start next year with some fresh blades. Clean it up, scrape it, clean it up, grease it, and uh, store it for the winter. Next step is to put the um, snow blade on the front and put all of the, um, well the next step is to make sure I put all the cotter pins and bolts in a safe place where I won't forget where they are. I better put a note in my phone because the second I put them somewhere, I'll forget where I put them. So I'll uh, start this video again, or maybe a part two for installing the snow scoop, which I have also never done yet. So it will be interesting. Sorry guys, one thing I forgot is don't forget to remove your sway bar. It just feeds in there. You just have to wiggle it and comes out. Another thing I've seen, one sec, I'll get my hand out of the way. But I've seen guys zip tie these up, keep them out of the way. I personally think that's probably a good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. Just gonna zip that guy right there on each side. Then it's not hanging down, driving over snow banks or whatever. Okay, I'll do that and then we will uh, get the snow scoop if I can lift it by myself. It's over in the other garage. Okay, so I'm underneath here. Just a heads up. I did the zip ties. I like this one. It's up out of the way. This one's hanging down too much. So I'm going to cut the zip tie and move it up a little bit so it's got more ground clearance. Also, just to make sure when you're zip tying, you're not zip tying any of the components under there. Just zip tie it to the frame and uh, make sure it's up out of the way. At least that's what I feel is good advice. I've never done this, so hopefully it works out. Okay. Other than the light being in my eyes, I'm much happier with this position. Nice. Just through that little hole there, there's another zip tie holding some wires. But we're not zip tied to any components. We're just on the frame, sorry, on the frame and the arm here. The other arm is actually lower now than this one. But I think these are nice and out of the way. It gives us lots of ground clearance for snow and stuff. And... Uh, the deck's off and ready for storage. Okay, so the deck is outside now. Um, I don't recommend moving this by yourself. I'm going to uh, try to 
just steered over. I got to go to that end garage there. Um, I'm just going to use the actual anti-burn wheels or whatever they're called to point it in the right direction and then roll it. Uh, I do have to get underneath it to scrape and change the blades. I'll probably prop it up over there by that corner. But yeah, I'm just going to clean it up for storage, get the air blower out and, uh, and scrape off anything that needs to be scraped, grease, any of the components that have a zerk on it for this mower. And I don't remember, I'll have to have a look. I don't remember if any actual components on the deck have a grease nipple. Um, but if so, I will grease it. Uh, I'm just looking right now. I don't see any, but I'll have a look and I'll check the manual just to make sure. But here's the deck off. One thing I did notice as I was moving it, this spring came off. So keep an eye on that. You might want to take these off and clean right in there. I'm just going to use the compressor this time. Oh, there's grease nipples on the top. So we'll use, we'll use the grease gun there. And we'll get those all cleaned out with compressed air. And uh, double check the belt. And then prop it up in the corner for the winter. Okay, guys. So... This thing is heavy as shit. Uh, I rolled it over here from the other garage door. I propped it up here. It doesn't want to stay, obviously, because it sits on wheels. Um, I got it propped up right now. The uh, scoop on the outside there, the uh, grass deflector, I guess it is, is helping me hold it up. Uh, you got to make sure you don't bend these arms when you're flipping it up. Then I just got it propped up um, with this post here. I'm gonna put a cinder block on this end of the post so I can scrape it and change the blades. Uh, see how that goes. So we got half scraped out. As you can see, uh, I neglected scraping in the last couple weeks. Really wet weather here in Niagara Lake, Ontario, Canada. And uh, I wasn't doing my proper duty of uh, scraping this more frequently or using the washout port. Um, oops. Um, so don't do that to yourself. Make sure you scrape it frequently throughout the season and use that washout port right away after you cut when the uh, grass is still wet on there and hasn't dried. That helps it wash out. Um, the blades are pretty mangled. I'll be replacing these either now or in the spring. Depends on how long it takes me to uh, get this scraped. Yeah, so that's it. Hasn't fallen yet, knock on wood. It's uh, propped up there pretty good and I'm staying off to the side in case it does let go. I'm not in the, in the line of fire when it falls. So we'll continue to scrape this and check in after I'm done. I'm likely going to the hardware store to get some kind of spray to put on it. Um, not sure WD is good enough but I want to spray the underside, um, get that sprayed and get those uh, zerks greased up and go from there. Okay, bit of a check in here. I decided to take the blades off to give it a real good scrape. I'm taking the blades off anyway. So um, on this particular model, it was a 5.8. I'm just gonna remove the blades. They just, these ones remove in a counterclockwise, just, righty or lefty Lucy and uh, I'm gonna take that off I'm gonna put the bolt back in keep the uh, the all of it clean and then I'll put the new blades on after I scrape but I just found it easier to scrape real good if the blades are out of the way see if it, that helps you okay guys all scraped off at least as much as I'm gonna do uh, I'd really love to hose it out and my outside water is already turned off. So, uh, as you can see, I have neglected the scraping for too long. No wonder the thing is so heavy. I mean, obviously it's the fabricated deck, so it's heavy anyway, but it didn't need to have that extra, you know, maybe that's 20 pounds, 15, 20 pounds of crud stuck to it. So it's nice to get that cleaned off. Uh, the most of the stuff is up under here. So make sure you get in there and scrape that nice. Uh, I found with the blades off, it was much easier. 
I put the bolts for the blade back on there just to keep them uh, so they don't get lost and to keep the crud out of the, the bolt hole. Okay, so I'm just gonna scoop this stuff up, the shovel, and uh, move this thing to where it's gonna be parked and I can do the blades later. And then I got to spray the underside of the deck. Let me know in the comments what you spray your deck with. I don't know if WD-40 is sufficient. I'm going to look it up. But uh, if you want to let me know in the comments, that would be great. Okay, the next step will be to lug this thing over to where the, uh, where the tractor is. Or maybe even just bring the tractor to it. Although I'd like to do it inside. Um, it's not that cold. And then we're gonna store the uh, the deck right there, put some cardboard underneath it, give it a good spray and let it sit there. Okay, so I'll start the video back up when we're on the next steps. Okay guys, so I decided I'm just gonna store it flat. I was gonna lean it up against the wall there, but it really has nothing to stabilize it. I see uh, they sell, Got to do some more scraping here. They, I can see they sell a uh, different holders and wheels and stuff, but for now I'm just going to store it flat since I have the space, um, and I'll just lift it up when I figure out what I'm going to spray on it. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's it. I did not grease it yet, and I did not spray underneath yet. And I also have to figure out these. Uh, Got the wheel weights. Got the wheel weights here. Figured out, figure those out. I got the tire chains over here. And somewhere in a box, I have the uh, cab cover for the winter. I got to put together. Not sure if that's happening today, but uh, maybe I'll do a video of that too, piece by piece. But anyway, there's the deck off. The snow scoop is going on. And the trailer, still in the warm workshop over there, or not the trailer, the tractor, has the deck removed. So now we're ready for some speed. But um, I got to figure out, maybe I'll watch a couple videos on how to put the uh, scoop on the front of this. I'm pretty sure it just sits on these and attaches in the back with some uh, clips there. But I'll watch a video to make sure. Hey guys, so I'm uh, back in the workshop where it's a bit warmer. I got the blade on. I would not recommend doing it by yourself. Um, so I got this blade pre-assembled when I bought the mower in, I think, April. So they put the brackets on for me and the blade was all ready to go. Just had to be lifted on. So that was a tough task. I'll go on the sides of the light. It doesn't get in your eyes. But, um, so you lift the blade up on these bolts that are on the brackets that are pre-installed. So... If you got this out of the box, you'd have to install the brackets here. And then this bolt is a set bolt that the lip of the mower has two openings. And uh, that was the toughest part, getting that up there by yourself, lifting it that, you know, whatever that is, six or eight inches off the ground. It's kind of awkward, a bit heavy. And then once that's on there, you put these through and this arm goes on to there. The arm was pre-installed too. Now I did notice that those cotter pins or clips were really bent. And I'm not sure how they get so bent uh, with no attachment on, but both sides were bent. So I'll keep an eye on those. And now it's up and this side is your height and this side is your deflection or angle now like i said oops this was pre-installed for me or pre-put together 
this cable, you pull this handle here, it's supposed to pull this mechanism so you can move it from side to side. However, the cable's not pulling tight enough to disengage that arm from the little grooves. So I'm gonna have to tighten that cable so we can uh, get some more pull on it there. Sorry guys, I hit power. For the most part, um, it's on there, ready to go. I mean, if I didn't wanna change the angle, I wouldn't have to worry about that cable, but I'm gonna get it ready so I can do different angles. And then I have to set the, uh, the guards. I do have interlocking brick here. So I'm gonna look up on how they suggest to set the height of the guards. Uh, basically just think you put something underneath you know, quarter inch off the ground or something, and you set the guards accordingly. So you're not picking up, I have a interlocked brick. So I wanna make sure I'm not hitting the lips of the brick. Okay, I also think it's time for an oil change. I might do a video on that. I did not put my new blades on. They're there. Got the oil filter. Um, I do have to put the cab together and the chains on the tire. So if I do that, I'll video it as well. And uh, we'll go from there. I still do have to clean it up once it's back outside again. Uh, that's it. I'll, uh, I'll start another video when I do something else.